hello you guys welcome back to my channel okay let's shampoo this mess on top of my head oh my god it's a bobby pin <laughs> but it's been about a week since i shampooed and conditioned my hair and so yeah it's looking kind of rusty kind of crusty kind of you know ashy but we're gonna fix this in about three two one there we go a little tiktok ashing for you guys <laughs> okay so we are freshly deep conditioned and here is my hair super super fresh super breathing i used the tea tree shampoo and conditioner for my hair now we are going to blow dry with the super skinny relaxing balm by paul mitchell it smooths everything out and it's a heat protectant Alright, I'm also going to use my my Mirror Smooth High Gloss Primer, you guys. This is an, also another thermal protectant, and I'm telling you, it is the best silkening serum, just period. It, everything goes so smooth, so bouncy. I use about three pumps of both, and I just rub it through my hair. My hair is super thick, as you guys can see. I want to put enough to where my hair is a little saturated, but not enough to where it's weighed down, you know? And just scrunching it and crunching it throughout all my strands. And to add a little extra to that, I'm going to put some of my Amica Bombshell Blowout Spray on here. This is the only thing I use that is not Paul Mitchell on my hair when I do a blowout. I am in love with this spray, you guys. It really just molds your hair the way you want it to be. And again, another thermal protectant because we have curls over here and we're trying to keep them. Okay, so starting from the bottom to the top, I start to part my hair to begin the blow drying process. Um, yeah, it gets pretty self-explanatory after this. I just use my paddle brush and my Paul Mitchell blow dryer, of course. Yes, it has tape on the nozzle. We're a little, we're a little ghetto, but you know, it's okay. <laughs> This is how I like my hair. It's super bouncy and flowy. Yeah, but after this, it gets extremely self-explanatory. Um, I'm just blow drying it out. Don't mind my blow dryer nozzle. It's a little ghetto. It kept popping off, but you know, it is just the battle scars of it curing and doing so many different people's heads. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just keep going in slow motions. I kind of use my blow dryer and my paddle brush the way I would do a flat iron. I just pinpoint it down. Sometimes I'll go up just to give myself a little extra volume. But yeah, I take my time with it. And it takes me about 45 minutes to blow dry my entire head. Gotta really get that middle spot because you know it's the middle of the head and we know into the thick of it it does not like to try correctly so just really getting into the middle and then blow drying down to make sure that my hair follicles go down and it'll be an easier process when I put the flat iron into it.
and for any of you who want to know how I do my edges when my hair is straight I simply use my boar bristle brush and the heat and I just brush it the way I want it to go I don't put any gel or anything on my edges when my hair is done this is the way I do it I don't do this every day just the initial blow dry and my baby hair stays this way it's honestly probably one of the easiest ways to get it done I'm not even gonna lie um, it's on hot but it's not on some super hot so I'm not burning my scalp or my edges or anything like that um, but it is on the highest air how do I even explain that <laughs> It's on the highest air, but not the highest heat, I guess. Okay, so now I'm using a bone comb and I like to use the fine parts of the comb. Oh, and my palm into fine iron, of course. And I put it up to 210 Celsius. Um, it goes up to 410 degrees Fahrenheit, by the way. And yep, I just use the fine parts of my comb just to get out whatever, just to make sure that everything is detangled well. I don't use a chase method with my hair. I just comb it once and then go with the um, smoothing process. Yep, I go over my roots about two to three times and then once over, all over, and that's it. So here we go again, one, two, three, and then fully smoothing out. Boom, and that's it. Hurry, okay, Pooh? <laughs> that is it. I'm just showing you guys one more time, just so you can see what's going down. I am very thorough when it comes to the back of my hair because, you know, we don't need any of those little blow dried, odd, fluffy pieces in the back. So yeah, just take my time, one, two, three, twist, don't worry you guys, my hair is not burning and that's not an over amount of heat protectant. These flat irons are just super, super old. <laughs> Okay, and here is the finished product. I'm so sad by the time I was actually done, the sun was going down. It was so dark on camera and I, I apologize so much. But this is the finished product. It's super fluffy and bouncy and just, yes. My hair is um, a round one length with the round layers. So just a supernatural situation. That's just how my hair grows. I end it with a little bit of my lavender mint nourishing oil. It is a dry oil, so it's not gonna get, you know, it's not gonna weigh your hair down. And it smells so good. It, it smells like what it is, lavender mint. Lavender mint, <laughs> lavender mint. <laughs> but yeah, I turned on the light for you guys. You can see it properly my hair has grown out so much even the past month look at the way my roots have grown in on the blonde side it's just it's disgusting i need to redo it either way these are my finished results and i love it i'll probably be putting my hair in this ponytail for the rest of the week i honestly only straightened it because it's been way too cold outside and i can't do my wash and goes but you know anyway i love you guys i'll see you in my next one Bye!